Central African Republic, or CAR as it is commonly known, is a vast rolling plateau of relatively low altitude. It is a landlocked country in the heart of Central Africa. It is bordered by Chad to the north, Sudan to the east, Democratic Republic of Congo to the south, Republic of Congo to the southwest, and Cameroon to the west. It became an independent nation from the French in 1960 and covers a land area of about 240,000 square miles. It has an estimated population of about 4.4 million, with French still one of the official languages besides Sango. Bangui is the capital city. Two-thirds of the country lies in the basins of the Yobangi River, which flows south into the Congo River, while the remaining third lies in the basin of the Chari River, which flows north into Lake Chad. The rivers support an important local fishing industry. One of the most highly prized local fishes is the Nile perch. Central African Wildlife Adventures, or SAWA as it is affectionately named, is one of the most exclusive and highly professional safari operators in Central Africa today. They offer high quality safaris in one of the most remote areas to be found on this magnificent continent, Africa. In the eastern part of CAR lies a vast territory covering more than 20 million hectares totally free of any human encroachment and is the most untouched area in CAR. This is the land where the rainforest of the Congo meets with the rolling hills and the savannas of the north. It stretches from fast flowing and crystal clear streams in the rainforests and the mountains to the mighty lazy rivers of Mbari, Chinko and Vovodo where they flow along huge plains and swamps. Central African Wildlife Adventures has the rights to three areas on both sides of the beautiful Chinko River, covering two million hectares in the middle of this vast wilderness. No road is closer than 100 kilometers away, leaving the concession totally separated from the rest of the world. Although within the concession, nearly 2,000 kilometers of hunting roads have been newly created. The size of this uninhabited land makes it one of the last truly unexplored and untouched areas in Africa. None of this land had ever been hunted by white men before. Most of it has never even been hunted by natives. It's simply too far away. Due to its location, the area is very special in the way that Sawa can combine savanna hunting with forest hunting as both fire types are present throughout the whole concession. It is a mosaic of savanna and small rain forests. This is a place where you will be standing up on a high peak, looking out over a dry, burnt landscape, wondering if there really is any water at all in the region. Then you will walk down to what you think is a slightly thicker and shady area, and when you reach it, the vegetation closes around you. Within seconds, you feel like being in the equatorial rainforest around the equator. Fresh water springs from clear streams that sneak past you and the sounds and scents will make you think you are in the deepest of Africa's jungles. Standing here, you will not believe that there is a dry, burnt and stony landscape only a couple of minutes away. This is the beauty of the region, the contrast. Thanks to these contrasts, the savanna species can live side by side with the forest species and they can all be hunted throughout the whole season. You may in the morning hunt the majestic Lord Derby Eland and in the afternoon track one of the forest trails for the elusive bongo. However, some species are either easier or more beautiful during a certain time of the year. The hunting season starts in late December and continues until late June. The driest part of the year will be during the first three months of the year, January till March. In the end of March, the rains start, making April, May and June increasingly green and lush. The owner of the company, Eric Marav, is of Swedish origin, but he is born and bred in the Central African bush, which he knows as well as his own trouser pockets. His Swedish ancestry 
gives him a profound understanding of what the modern Western client expects from a safari, and he will always do everything in his power to ensure that each safari becomes an experience of a lifetime. Upon arrival in the CAR capital, Bangui, you are met by Charlotte Marav, who handles all the paperwork regarding your arrival and your firearms. Unless staying the night in Bangui, shortly afterwards, you are transferred to a charter plane, which takes you on a two and a half hour flight to the airstrip at Koshal, where Eric Marav and his team of friendly professional hunters and skilled trackers await you. Eric and the professional hunters are all fluent in English, French, Swedish and Sanger, the local language. The trackers, for the most part, are fluent in French and Sanger. Central African Wildlife Adventures invites you to discover a true wilderness and live an unforgettable experience in the very heart of Africa. They are dedicated to make your adventure in CAR one you will remember with joy for many years. In fact, one you will never forget. In order to have the possibility to hunt the different areas in this vast concession without having to drive long distances every day, Sawa uses several different camps, each one having its own speciality and atmosphere. Some are permanent and others are temporary fly camps. Common for all the camps is the top class service and the good quality food. The professional and friendly staff ensures that every detail is perfectly arranged doing their best to ensure a wonderful stay and an experience that will never be forgotten. Kosho is Sawa's main camp. It is situated on the banks of the Kosho and the Sariri rivers, located in the heart of the hunting area and only 30 minutes by road from the airstrip. This is the perfect location from where to start your adventures. Here, the lush vegetation of the equatorial forests blends with the savanna and the whole camp breathes peace which is also the meaning of the Sangha name for the place, Sariri. Four bungalows connected by neat gravel pathways cut out in the lush vegetation, privately situated to give a sense of peace and romance to each guest. Most care has been taken to preserve the natural environment and each bungalow is specially designed to blend into the surroundings. The bungalows, built by burnt bricks and thatched grass, house a large bedroom and a separate bathroom with a flush toilet, running water for either a hot or cold shower, as well as a sink overlooking the river in the opposite bank. The large double beds are equipped with mosquito nets. Light is provided both by oil lanterns and by European standard 220 volt lamps. The dining mess, situated at the junction of the Sariri and the Kosho rivers, offers a splendid view over the opposite bank this is where the campfire is lit as the evening sun disappears behind the trees and the first stars appear in the deepening darkness. A fully stocked bar ensures a well-needed refreshment, whether it is at noon when the hunters return to camp after many hours of hard tracking or enjoying a relaxing moment with a favourite drink in front of the campfire while listening to the rushing of the water contrasting with the stillness of the night. Kosho camp is much more than just a hunting camp in the bush. It is where the heart of the company is, continually beating, always striving to be better and working hard to reach all their goals. There is a well-stocked workshop for any small, big or mechanical problems that occur and making of brick, cement and all carpentry work all done on site. The small but fully functional kitchen area has a cellar for the storage of fruit, vegetables and wine, as well as a seasonal vegetable garden. The same day laundry service produces beautifully cleaned iron clothes. Any sewing or mending needing attention will be attended to. 
It's also an Eden where you, the hunter, and your companion can take refuge from the heat and just enjoy the peaceful surrounds in comfort, oblivious to the background activities.